Previously on Mana Finder, Lambda found a big Mana Stone at the top of Emerald Peak. Unfortunately, an enemy faction, the Nomads, teamed up with a Zane to attack the settlement and steal the Mana Stones, and they killed Landon and a civilian in the process. I was called out for eating the crops I guard. They made me feel bad about myself. Farming is honest work. Nomads' brains are so small that they can't possibly grasp what honest work means. I command you to kill all the nomads. Hmm, these crops withered. Like our late friend Landon. Gustav was a great friend. I can't believe the nomads killed him. That was his name? Bastards, a lot of them. Mana finders are dying left and right, and my grandma can't help but comment on their looks. It's starting to annoy me. It's lamentable that Landon passed away. The man did not shave appropriately, but he was a good mana finder nonetheless. This boy lost his parents, but he miraculously made his way to the settlement. It's up to us to give him hope now. You're not secretly a Manchurian agent for the Nomads, are you? I wouldn't put it past them. They say the large mana stones you learn magic spells from are gifts from the gods. Well, I disagree. Some Nomads can cast magic too. The gods surely wouldn't allow that. But don't they have Ilya? And what a bunch of hypocrites. Don't they claim they have no need for mana stones? Hello, Mana Finder. If anything from this house can help you deter the nomads, then by all means, please take it. Oh, new loot. Coma biscuit, apple, and bread. Is it true? Did Landon really die? There's no way I'm letting my little brother become a Mana Finder. It's a death wish. Please be aware of the nomads. They're nothing but trouble. As if your duty as a Mana Finder wasn't hard enough. Beware of the nomads! I decided to continue chopping down trees without the Oracle's consent. What's it going to do, huh? Would you, like to, would you be willing to kill a nomad, a fellow human being? Only if I have to. And you'll be reminded we're nothing but beasts. Been there, done that. So did Lambda kill someone in the past? Careful, Mana Finder. Lack of remorse is a slippery slope. You don't want to end up a shameless old crook like me, do you? Yeah, the way she says been there, done that implies that that's, that's what Lambda got in trouble for. She must have killed someone. I hate nomads. They threaten everything we have worked so hard for. And why? Because they are desperate brutes. I need to relax. I'll continue gathering mushrooms. Why can't I just do trade with us or something? So much as I love Uncle Roe, I don't think he would be do well beyond the settlement. The nomads would skim him alive. Lambda, please avenge Sue. I'll kill all the nomads when I grow up. They are evil. I heard some nomads attacked a couple right outside the settlement. Is it true? Nomads believe raising animals in farms is not natural. Instead, they glorify hunting, and there's no greater honor for them than dying in the hunt. No wonder we see them as uncivilized or fraff. Hmm, hunting versus farming. They act like animals. They have a point. Stay silent. I can. F so, what does each answer give me? They act like animals. Exactly. Why deny your human capacity and reduce yourself to a mindless beast? Fools, I tell you. They have a point, though. I will respectfully disagree with you, Mana Finder. Come think of it, we don't really eat, we don't really use uh, eat any of the monsters we defeat, do we? Remember how the nomads have been trying to raid our settlement? I should get myself a sword. It's the best weapon against humans. So that's uh, that would be a good chance. Uh, this would be a good time to do the uh, 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 the priest side quest if you haven't done so already. Nomads spear me, you know. I've killed a couple in my lifetime. I bet I can last longer under freezing cold water than any pesky nomad. No choice but to keep heading south, and hope I find something. Hmm. Okay. Stoneway. 
so they do have security. I have to ambush them. Damn it, there's too many. Careful, stand back, Lambda. That lady over there is Lania. She is one of the Nomad tribe leaders. Listen up. We've been tasked with slaying the mana finders that dare pursue us. So if you spot a mana finder, kill on sight. Yeah. Damn, they do expect us. I'll scout for potential ambushes using an alternate path. I'll rendezvous with you later. Oh, one more thing. Give me your halberd. Huh? Are you gonna upgrade it? But if you're gonna upgrade something, upgrade my sword. I have to kill these guys. Here you go. I use the emerald stone to carve a new and stronger spearhead for you. Emerald spear? Okay, okay. Time's crucial. So let's move. Wolves? What the heck? Effective against amphibians, still. But it does more damage. But how do I re uh, upgrade everything else? Do I still have to find more emeralds? And maybe I get to choose what I get to- what I can upgrade. I don't know. Beast-type enemies. Dang it. Was it. If only you upgraded my beast killer, uh, too. Varmints. Hiya! One shot it. Missed. Quick bite. I guess that lets it get priority, even if I'm faster. Earth or are they weak to earth? And mana shard. The hell is that thing? Ugh. What is that? Is that a mammal or not? Cosmic deer? Yes, it is, but it's strong. It survived my attack. Like it was nothing. No! Such power! Seems I got a choice of two paths here? Not sure. That's a nasty looking bear. There's no rare beast for any of these areas, either. Is that a rock type enemy? Or is it a b p mammal? Okay, that's not good. Let's try using iron pickaxe. It's- that's good. Ow. If it's an earth type, then it must be weak to ice. Do I have- I don't have that many end freezes. I'm not gonna win at this rate. I'm gonna have to buy more and freeze. It's not weak to it. Damn. Mana shard. Spirit Dust. Duo Rhino Gloves? That must- that, that Duo Rhino killed that dude. A, a slight upgrade. Actually, let's double back. The fact that there was another fork in the road is suspicious. That one had way too much stuff for a mirror- Oh, wow. What the heck? Is this a shortcut to another place? But it's another Duo Rhino, so that's not good. 
Ambush. Explosive stone? Is that gonna be important somehow? Okay, I think this is... Uh, I'm just so indecisive about which path to take. Explosive stone again? Yeah, it keeps... Go both paths just keep going. The heck is this? Or four? Wait, I think this connects to the other path that I skipped before. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it does connect, but it's still branching off into its own p uh, path down here. Piss, hold on. What? Don't get... Am I gonna get in a boss battle now? Lucky I just stopped you from running into your doom. I know to the rescue, right? Let me guess, down there is a trap. See that inhumanly large beast? Er, Nomad? Its name is Gaius. Well, I don't think I have a chance of winning, do I? What you mean, no find them? And of course he talks like the Hulk. Um, we'll re reinforce our search, you dumb bear. Me not bear. Fool. Uh, I guess I'll not go that way. Oh, look. Here comes Sabius, the wise nomad. Gaius, oh Gaius, did you have to kill him? Bad Gaius, bad. I'm sorry. Uh, order a patrol for this area. They will surprise those pesky mana finders. So in other words, this path is no good. You always big brain. Oh damn, let's fall back before the nomads arrive. I'll be right behind you. So this path is... Whoa, shit! What's this? Ilya's Cauldron, No Man's Land. Obsidian Stone. What the heck is No Man's Land anyways? Co Mana Shard. Hmm. Mana Shard. Okay, no man's line is that way, but what's south? Hmm. This is no man's land, but what does that entail? Are we even supposed to be here? I see a moving rock. Imbue. Water. Pickaxe. Ow! Holy shit, that's a lot of damage.
Ow. Stone Shell Trophy? Wait, what? Why did I get a trophy this time? That was actually a... a, a I thought we didn't have Rare Beasts anymore. Weird. I guess I better head back there. It's possible that he hasn't heard of every Rare Beast, and that's why we're seeing a new one all of a sudden. I thought it was just a regular but really strong enemy. But no, it's actually an elite. Okay, it turns out that, according to Dev, I have to go to sleep in order to cause new quests to spawn. And that includes the... Uh, rare beast list. Yeah, let's just call it a night. Dang it. I, I thought that technically sleeping back then would have counted. Hear voices in your dreams. I need Lima's help again. I wish I wasn't so alone all the time. The list of all side quests I need to do, huh? I wonder when Scar will visit. It's time to teach him a new lesson. I see. The passage of time doesn't really happen other, uh, unless I actually sleep in that specific tent. I wonder if we can get that modifier to play our new game. Plus, we owe her a surprise award from last time. I could use some help. Everyone I've helped before. I could use some help at the pub. Oh, no! Lambda, come visit me in my tent. I have an exciting new quiz ready for you. I've gotten a few tips about more rare beasts. I could use Lambda's help hunting them down. So that's how they keep you... Uh, 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 that's how you keep track of side quests. By going to sleep and then everyone will start telling you about them. Okay. That was a weird way to do it, since you think time would have passed after the nomads attacked. That, you think that would have counted as a as an actual story-mandated rest. Okay, first up, let's just turn in that trophy. That's a stone shell! You felled this rare beast stone hog. I'll take that off your hands. Okay, that's one down. I better do some side quests before actually leaving, though. Here's a reward. Two stone shroom. What? Stone shroom? Does that recover petrify? Here are the rare beasts I'm currently looking for. I don't see any for... Uh, 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 I don't see any for the no man's land. And there's another one. It's near water. Yeah, there's two in the stone way. Okay, time to do some tricky side quests. Yeah, we started with the hardest one. Hello again, Lambda. I need a huge favor. More bartending. I know, I know. You must be crazy busy saving us all. But this favor befits a mana finder. Well, what was it? I want to offer Aquathoria tea to those seeking a less mind-numbing experience. In other words, we ha it's going to be more complicated a version of your bartending minigame. But I first need Aquathoria, which grows in the Emerald Wars. Can you get some for me? Ten would suffice. How do I get ten? Of course, I'll pay you for your troubles. Sure, I'd love to help you. I'm, I'm fine with a normal set fetch quest. Thank you, Lambda. Need a drink? No. Bye. Alright. Got him. Two Aqua Florias. Now I need six more. I'm gonna check this secret area back here too. Nope. Another Aqua Floria. Alright, that's two more. All right, I think that's all of them. Yeah, 12. And even put one more here. Let's grab it just in case. Even put one right at the very exit. Nice. Are those the Aqua Florias? Can I please have them? Yes. Thanks, Lambda. I'll be able to serve Aquafloria tea. And here's your pay. Aquafloria tea and bread. Say, Lambda, do you really think I am helping people out? It's complicated. Yes, you're helping them out. Hearing that is very reassuring. Thank you. Some people hate me and blame me for riding the Solar's minds. All I want is to offer them a brief respite from our harsh reality. You sound a bit like... Uh, 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 like heart from Soma spirits there. Oh, uh, life, life, life. Why do you have to be so complicated? 
Until next time, Lambda. Oh, and remember I'll be selling Aquaphoria tea from now on. Okay, I don't have to do any bartending. Good. I want to learn Scar's next trick. Hey, Scar! Oops, I didn't even ask how you're doing, Lambda. My apologies. I tend to focus too much on animals. I love them. It's time for Scar's health check. So show us how healthy you are, Scar. Wait, what? A healthy dog of his size should be able to wreck the blue dummy in less than five turns. I can't imbue in this one. Target dummy B. Uh, I guess I'll defend. So this is just a level check, isn't it? Dang it. Problem is, I don't have any way to get his TP up, other than to try again, I guess. Well done. Good boy. We barely passed. Great job, both of you. Scar looks pretty healthy. Yeah, that was just- if I didn't level up back there, I would not have passed. Sorry about the mess, it's hard to keep it tight with so many animals around. But I owe them my life, my purpose. Back in Mont Hill, I could never really figure out my calling. If only we could give Scar a special weapon for dogs to boost his stats. Sorry again, I did not mean to bug you with my personal life. No worries. Thanks, Lambda. These poor animals must be tired from hearing me ramble. Before you guys head out, here are some useful tips. The number of coma biscuits you are able to harvest from coma plants has gone up by one. Coma biscuits will now heal additional 50 HP. Scar now has floor damage immunity. Wait, but that means I don't have floor damage immunity. Pet Scar. I even know f I didn't even know floor damage was a thing. That must be some. That it must be the nomads setting traps for us, like cow traps. Stay safe, guys. Come visit often. The old lady's in here, but the priest must be downstairs then? Maybe in his little hidey hole? I have not seen Priest Nolan in a while. Could he be in the basement? I tried taking a look, but I heard awful noises coming from the basement. Can you please check on him? I'm worried. Well, oh no, these, is there a boss monster down there? I hope I have enough imbues. Ah, it's open! It must be a dungeon! Oh no, is that poison? No, it's just a rug. Foundation of Mont Hill. And on that fateful day, Vicar conjured a barrier and declared himself king by the will of the gods. Vicar Sarah, or simply V, is pre prefaced to a year to indicate how many years have elapsed since the Aformation Foundation Day. Why are there such strong looking enemies down here? Is that a rat? It's a mole! It's quite strong. What? It tanked it! Not good. I, I was hasty. I'm dead. I almost died like that, damn. And I have two status effects on me. Wow. This place is so big. You open a page in a book, Blessing of the Gods. According to legend, King Vicar was blessed by the gods themselves and atop, atop the heaven's reach. It is believed he, that, that said blessing granted him godlike attributes such as incredible strength and immortality. He sounds like a final boss. Bandage. All right, let's try this. Uh, uh, let's try another quest first. I'll, maybe if I can get more spirit dust, I can win. Hey, I feel like we started off on the wrong foot, but we want to make it up to you. Here's the surprise reward we had promised you. Ring of love? Can I use that to make the mole fall in love with me? 
Honorable Mindfinder, please accept our most sincere apologies. And now that we have recovered your trust, we would like to present you a new opportunity. I challenge you to a race. We will reward you with 10 yellow coins and an incredible surprise reward if you win. Can you run fast enough? Mana Finder? An obstacle course, and the racing fee is only three measly yellow coins. We have to cover, uh, costs. Where are the rules again? I challenge you to a race. We'll re- oh, That's not very specific. I didn't know what kind of terrain we're doing. I almost got her! I won this time! But seriously, the fact that the last sister pops out the, uh, there really sucks. Ugh. <sighs> Can't believe I pulled that one off. So you won. Again. What a cheater. You should feel ashamed of yourself. Prove it! You hurt my feelings, Mana Finder. I take racing very seriously. Please leave us. We don't do business with insincere individuals. Seriously? They're all... Uh I'm probably gonna pretend to feel sorry for cheating ag uh, again and then scam me into another uh, mini game, right? What do you want? I already asked you to leave us alone. Where are my rewards? Are you seriously asking me that right now? Yes. Wow, the nerve of you. I bet you have no friends. Do you even have feelings? Unbelievable. Let's take the high road, sis, and pay this emotionless husk its undeserving reward. Fine, here's your pay. One yellow coin. You still owe me nine yellow coins. Can you believe this girl, sis? What a bully. She thinks she can just demand yellow coins from helpless girls like us. Here you go, bully. I encourage you to reevaluate re your life choices. You still owe me an incredible surprise. Oh, Mana Finder, you may be very strong, but you are also very, very... Dumb! <laughs> Two just wanna scam me, huh? Okay, but it took, it took a while, but I managed to get that race done. Even- I actually tied once and still lost. Okay, I need to think of something. My current team is not gonna be strong enough yet. No one is out of the- I can't complete his quest until I get a little stronger. His, those moles are super OP. Even a single one of them is already sh too strong. Uh, uh, strong enough to kill me really quickly. But uh, two? No chance. I don't have the healing power for that. Hmm. Fine, let's see what yours is about. Hey, Lambda! I've been training diligently. No wolf will scare me next time. But a gear update is due. Gear that obviously Papa won't provide. But I have a master plan. A plan that requires your help. I overheard Yohem saying that a spider webs are high in demand. Well, guess what? The spider cave's entrance is hidden near my training spot. Or just let me get you new, new gear. Thanks, Lambda, but I can't let you do that. I have to earn it myself. Plus, I want to think of it as training, as training session. Alright. 
Meet me at my training spot. Spiders are going to be just as strong as the moles, aren't they? Remember, it's by the western exit. Oh no. I'm feeling nervous. Maybe I'll do the quiz. Yeah, maybe the quiz will be better because at least I can just do process of elimination here. Lambda, I have prepared an exciting new ta quiz tailored just for you. Get ready to challenge your mind. And, ahem, your pockets as well. Taking the quiz will cost you four yellow coins per attempt. You'll be re re rewarded for scoring a perfect grade, so want to take the quiz? Okay. Twelve. Bodhany, let's see. Emerald Clover. Correct. Social Studies. Einar? Yes, C correct. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. You're halfway there now. Do your best now. Four. Zoology. Uh, Varmint. Yes, correct. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. Question five. Theology. Ilya is the Forsaken Goddess. Fuck her. Correct. Keep it up. Aim for the stars. We're down to the final question. This will def define your destiny. Final question. Subject matter is... Anatomy. Magic defense. Correct. You got the final question right. And a quiz. Your final score is... You answered 6 out of 6 questions correctly. You have mastered this quiz. Admirable, Lambda. You should consider becoming a scholar. As I promised, here's a reward. Ring of Enlightenment. Impressive. You managed to get a perfect sword in your first attempt. No safe scumming at all, right? Nah. Here's an extra reward for you. Sugar Cloud. I hope you had fun taking my quiz. I sure did. It's not over, though. I'll start preparing a harder quiz, so never stop studying. Until next time. What's your quest? Hello again, Lambda. I am so sorry to bug you again, but my kids have been asking non-stop about you. They want to play a game of tag with you. What? I know you're a busy modifinder, so please don't feel obliged to do it. But if you happen to make time, please speak to PK with the green scarf. Oh no, it's another reflex-based game. It's gonna be tricky. Lambda, wanna play tag? Yes. Get right together, everyone. Lambda is up for a game of tag. You have to tag us all before time runs out. Yes, and you can't step in the dirt. Only we can. What? That's uh, or so. What? That's a dumb roll. So the, the dirt acts as a wall, or do I automatically lose? Why can't I jump? Dude. Please don't do some kind of teleport trick. I knew there was a trick. Oh, I managed to make it. This gave you way more room for error than the race, that's for sure. Whew. How are these kids rigging out the entire place like that to, to instantly give themselves shortcuts? You won. Rats. Whatever. Yuck. We lost against an adult. Again. Mommy, mommy. Growing up here is mean. Kids, you need to learn to accept defeat. Unlike those two, uh, uh, unlike the uh, uh, Sol and Mars. It's part of growing up. 
Sorry, Lambda. They should know better. I'll do a better job. You're doing fine. They're just kids. You have a big heart. Thanks for being so understanding. Well, let me thank you for babysitting my children by teaching you some early tricks. Coma leaves will heal more now. Okay. That, I don't know if that'll be enough to defeat the moles, though. And now let the mom find her do her work. Stop bugging her. Okay, mom. Hello, Lambda. Thanks again for entertaining my kids. Her hood can be tiresome. Whatever. Hey, Lambda. Rats. You best mana finder. There you are. Okay, follow me. I'll show you the entrance to the spider cave. That bush. Close your eyes. Ta-da! Now let's get plenty of spider webs. I'm not feeling good about this. I kind of lost my confidence after losing to the, the double mole battle. Spirit dust. All right. This place is gonna be dangerous, so- Oh, holy moly! Lambda! Help me! Are you kidding me? Is it a mineral type? What the heck? Yeah, it's mineral type. Oh, what? It barely took any damage! Okay, but it doesn't seem to be as strong as the other guys. I should have used end water first. I did not expect them to be so powerful. Everything in this chapter is, is really strong. That was just a regular enemy. The rock spiders took Gobiffia deeper into a cave. Oh, these, uh, at least my stuff heals more, but still, there's no guarantee I can win now. Mana shard. I can see humans here. They're so fast, holy shit. Two at once, okay. I think I can handle two at once. But I'll have to use end water. I have to start using more resources just to win. Load. Oh, they critted me. Just how unprepared am I for these guys? Excavate. Spider webs. How come I just can't pick up the webs off the ground here? That would be more convenient, wouldn't it? Okay, Mana Shard. I think I can level up soon. Spider Web. More Spider Webs, okay.
Oh, it's a big one. What? Big mana shard. So what ability do I get now? Revive. I have a feeling I might need it. It's just telling me there's going to be a really tough boss, huh? I think I find it in an optional dungeon, too. Okay, that's... something. Mana shard. Mana shard. Spirit dust. Okay. Web cape. Okay, got another mana shard. Spider web. Spirit dust. Spider web. I have a feeling the boss is in the next room because that is a very big cave. Yeah, there's the boss. Enemy stands in my way. I'll use and freeze. I think that at least lets me resist their earth attacks, even if I'm not doing much damage to them. The enemy- the enemies here are so defensive, I'm actually just gonna use Sharpen. Ow. Iron Pickaxe! Okay, I'm doing some damage. Not much. Even though I resisted it, it dealt so much damage. Stay back. Damn, my, my buff did not last very long. Can't believe I actually have to use mana shards just to survive now. Ow. I'm not risking it. Come on, Leaf. Excavate you! That wasn't enough? Oh no, Scar! It's all on you then, Lambda. One more push. Took some considerable resources just to win, but a victory's a victory in the end. I'll use this power- I'll use the spirit dust to get even stronger for next time. Still, the spiders are not as tough as the moles, so I know I'm at least- uh, it's probably better to do this quest in particular first. You risk Gobiffia from the spi rock spider nest. Yeah, this place is too dangerous. Lambda! I was so scared! I could barely breathe. I... Hug Gobiffia. Let's get back before your old man kills us. You hug Gobiffia, she keeps crying. I thought that was it for me. Thank you for saving me again. I owe you my life. But why am I so weak? I can't keep depending on you. Maybe Papa is right. Maybe I should just stop this. Fantasy. Learning from your mistakes makes you stronger. Huh? You're right, Lambda. I had not looked at it that way. I want you to know that you are very inspiring. Well, at least I can grab plenty of spider webs here. Let me grab some and then let's head back to the settlement.
Thanks to you, I can declare this mission a... Success. Sort of. Even though you get, didn't get to help me in battle at all. Here's a small gift for helping me out. Emerald Clover. There you are, Goviffia. I've been looking for you. Yes, Papa? Someone told me they saw you leave the settlement with that Monofinder. You know you're not allowed. You're grounded. No! That's not fair, Papa. I don't care. You need to obey me, not this Monofinder. But Papa... Please. I... My decision is final. Final! Zoom in. And zoom out. Fine. Stop giving Gobiffia any ideas. She's not your daughter to raise. Mama, I miss you. Stop giving Gobiffia any ideas. Hmm. Sorry that you had to witness me fight Papa. I'll be fine. Do I stand a chance against two this time? Let's ambush them. Okay. Target. And freeze. Beast killer. Another beast killer. Damn, they're still so stupidly strong. But if I eliminate one, that'll put me at a huge advantage. Hmm. Seriously, why are these things so OP? You gave them both DOT type effects, like, why? Like, how is that even fair? Good guard. It's now or never. That- only 50 Spirit Dust even though that was such a strong enemy, seriously. Holy shit, that is- When was I actually meant to fight that one? And also, I can have her eat coma biscuits for some reason. Not that I have enough anymore, I used them all up just trying to survive. Open a page in the book for a second goddess. If you acknowledge the existence of the fourth god, Avi, Ilya, little is known about why she is often omitted in writing, but through time, her name became taboo and synonym with demoness. Oh shoot, I didn't save! Help no one get back on his feet. Lambda, I am sorry you found me like this. Nonetheless, I appreciate your help. What were you doing? I won't hide my sin, Lambda. I was drinking. Please don't share this with anyone. If you're gonna drink, don't do it in a place where you could get eaten by a mole. Let's head upstairs. I want to give you something to express my gratitude. Okay, good. We teleport out. No more moles. Allow me to bless the sword I gave you last time with a dose of mana water. Mana water? It's just water sprinkled with mana stone dust. Okay, takes no one's sword from you. Good, I need that because I need to kill those nomads. Oh merciful gods of Avi, listen to your devoted servants plea and bless the sword of your infinite power. 
No one's sword became more powerful. Blessed sword. Here you go, Lambda. My feeling the future battles of the nomads are balanced around having a blessed sword. Thanks again, Lambda. May the sword be of use in your journey. Hello again, Lambda. Welcome to this humble sanctuary. Have you prayed to the gods today? Rejoice! Priest Nolan is back. Time to face my loneliness again. Don't tell me there's another secret passage beyond the pr previous one. There's some pretty big treasures here. Mana shard. Another mana shard. Where are all these shiny points? Mud rock. Actually, it looks like some parts are blocked off. Earth ore. Dark ore. Yeah, every p every relevant path has been blocked off here. But uh, at best, I could just use the coma leaf here. Oh wait, what? Oh no, that that rock is a fake. I know it. That rock is definitely a faker. Let's go kill it. Okay, how do I fight it? It's not working. Huh? One eternity later. Okay, this time it's moving. I can kill it now. Die. It's random, isn't it? I don't understand the logic here. And freeze. Excavation. It's very vulnerable to ice. Good. Finally. Getting it to actually move was tougher than actually fighting it. Now I have the Heaven Stone. And the Explosive Stone. Okay, now I should head back and deliver and get my rewards. That's a Breathing Pebble. You felled a rare beast bre Breathing Rock. Yeah, it took it. You have to go in and out until it actually starts moving. I don't know. I don't understand the logic behind it. I'll take it off your hands. Here's your reward. A pair of stone socks. Great job, Lambda. Here are the rare beasts I am currently looking for. Ashen one. Valamar? Hmm. Stoneway, Ashen Steep, Ilias, Cauldron, and Cauldron Core. Enlightenment. Okay, if I equip this, I get massive offense boost. Hmm. I'll take the Heaven Stone off your hands. Here's one of my charges as I promised you. Fire Shroom? You brought me five Heaven Stones so far. Okay. Permanently increases all stats. Inflicts burn when consumed? Yikes. Well, I basically pair it with a Water Spirit to instantly heal it off, huh? I always return to fall asleep after eating mushrooms so my bro does all the work. It works wonders. In fact, he's out gathering shrooms right now. I know you're right around the corner, and there's no other way but to go- but forward. Only one cultist. How strong could they be? Wait, what's this buff I have? Strange. Whatever. Blessed sword. Oh no, they can use N- uh, Earth? Okay, so they really- w I really will have to exchange elements with them. Do I have enough of each elemental stone? That's a question. Not- I don't- let's just hope they don't use dark or light, because those are so expensive. Actually, I should buy some fire as well. Oh no, it's another one. But can I sneak up on you? Probably not. They turn around way too quickly. Look at that. Hmm. Blessed Sword. 
Oh, he's tankier. Water. And done. Mana shard. Or four. The ring right across there. Are they gonna push me into the over the ledge if I try to jump? A bow user. But bows are not good against us. So I, wait, the axe user might be good against Scar. Yes, I got a bow! Yes, finally! I can still- I can use their stuff for myself! That really would have helped back then, that's for sure. Go against flying enemies and birds. But some- but the bats count- also count as cave dwellers, so they're weak against bows too, right? Obsidian stone. Earth or Stone Shroom. Okay, explosive stone. Ambush you. What? There's two of them. So that's why they allowed me to do the ambush. Heroic slash. Okay, blessed sword again. A speed advantage. And there's a cave right there. Spirit dust, spirit stone boots. Where did this buff come from? The heck? It's weaker than the stone socks. Why are... Why are boots weaker than socks? This makes no sense. So what secret ability am I getting this time? Okay. Mend? Cure bleed. That means the next enemy might be spamming bleed effects. That looks way too suspicious. I feel like they're gonna ambush me right as I get to the uh, checkpoint. Okay. Once I go into there, it's gonna be- uh, we're probably gonna have to fight something. Huh? Really? Oh, we can fast travel now. I thought we'd get to a boss by now. That's weird. And maybe the boss is on the next screen. Maybe I jumped the gun with the uh, uh, with the uh, with the herbs. Shoot. Oh yeah, there's definitely an ambush here. If 
fact that we're still in Stoneway despite running into a camping spot. Something's not right. Watch out! Oh no! How many of my allies will have to die here? You're doing okay over there? Good. Sounds like you need made it. I'll find a way to catch up. Don't worry about me. Are you kidding me? What was the point of having a checkpoint if they were just gonna s block me off? That's so many! Well, well, well. What do we have here? Die, weakling! Not good, but if I can blind and burn them, maybe I have a chance. Hmm. Yeah, this rate, I'm, I'm kind of screwed unless I can gain an advantage. Please actually proc blind and burn. Good, they missed. Get him, Scar! Okay. Blessed Sword. That's one group down. What? What was that? An explosion? Are you using a bomb on me or maybe the really big Gaius? So we meet again, Mana Finder. I wish we could fight, but we have more pressing matters. Yes, that. Mount Olaf, the living mountain, has awakened and is headed towards us. Ilya won't allow our sacred mission to be stopped. Not even by a stupid mountain. What do you mean a living mountain? Worry not, I have a solution for this little issue. Rock poison? Lambda, use the rock poison to kill the mountain. Kill? Mount Olaf is a sacred guardian of Avi. It's not sacred. Only our goddess Ilya is, and she has spoken. Our mission is paramount. I know you are conflicted, Octavius, but our esteemed modifier here will be the one dirtying her hands. Why me? Octavius respects the stupid mountain too much. And if you don't do it, well, we'll all die. And your precious monostones will end up under a rebel made by Mount Olav. Well, you do it. Don't be humble, Monofinder. You know you are a better fighter than me. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. Here's one more gift. I'll patch you up. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted those items then. That was an awkward team up. Earth or... I know you are conflicted, Octavius, but our sea modifying here will be the one during your hands. Lambda, use the rock poison to kill the mountain. What the heck is a rock poison? How does that even work? What even is a rock poison? Is this some kind of acidic compound that just works on minerals? It said it can poison and weaken rocks, including entire mountains. That makes no sense. What? How are we supposed to fight something so big? The mountain is moving towards you. Ugh. Whoa, it's really fast, too. It just got here, like, instantly. But you stand your ground. Oh! How am I supposed to... Even with poison, it, I feel like it would take forever for it to kill a monster. Okay. Stay back. I have to use N Earth according to the go according to the hint that I got from losing last time. Rock poison. It 
takes a d ten thousand every for every action, in, but still, it's gonna be really hard to survive. I don't know how much it has, that's a problem. I don't know how many turns they expect me to live. How am I supposed to actually finish it off? Can poison finish off an enemy? I just have to let Scar die. There's no way I can win otherwise. I'm so in view of Earth. Okay, it, I just have to wait it out for a couple of turns, but that's still a pretty annoying way to win. Not being able to tell how much more progress you're making. Okay, so that's how you win. Just keep defending uh, Just keep defending with her. Just keep defending with Lambda. Don't worry about Scar, because Scar cannot possibly survive that long. Lambda, did you just kill a mountain? That makes you a living legend. Well, technically it was a Zane's poison. You're the only modifier I've ever defeated a mountain. All I did was wait out its po uh, the poison until it died. I even sound like a madman saying that out loud. I wonder. I wonder if you would stand up against King Vicar himself. Don't- unless we have a King Vicar poison. It, it seems pretty unlikely, but Zane helped me. Still, you stood up against a mountain. I don't know anyone who can claim ha uh, has survived in combat against one. Yeah, keyword, survive. I didn't actually defeat it. The poison did. I believe in you, Lambda. There's something about you that makes me helpful, feel hopeful again. So let's recover our mana stones. Not all of rock slides cleared up half to Ashen Steep up ahead. Don't feel bad about resting up first. You must be exhausted, and the nomads probably are as well. Yeah, I am not sh that was... That was... Yeah, definitely just don't even bar reviving Scar for that one. He does not stand a chance of surviving because he cannot imbue himself like Lambda can. What a scuffed way to win. Man. Please tell me we have a, a checkpoint. Yeah, it looks like the rock slide cleared here too. Okay, good. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Mana Finder. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.